With the FATF meeting just a few weeks away and amidst a raging political crisis in Pakistan that overwhelmed everything else in the country, an anti-terrorism court in Lahore on April 8th sentenced 2611 mastermind Hafiz Said to 31 years in prison in two terror financing cases. This is neither surprising nor shocking as the country has applied the same tactic several times in the past to avoid getting blacklisted by the global anti-terror watchdog. We have a report. The mastermind of the 2008 terror attacks in India's Mumbai city, Hafiz Saeed, has been sentenced to 31 years. A court in Lahore has found him guilty of multiple breaches in two cases of terror financing. Saeed, founder of the Lashkar e Taiba terrorist outfit, is already in jail, having been found guilty on multiple similar charges in 2020. The 70-year-old radical terrorist had already been convicted earlier in five such cases for 36 years. Saeed has been arrested and released several times over the past decade. Sentencing of lashkar e taiba chief Hafiz Saeed, the terrorist mind, mastermind of the Mumbai terror attacks, apart from many other strikes in Jammu and Kashmir and India, is just a whitewash. Of course, on the face of it, he has been given 31 years in jail. However, we all know how Hafiz Sayyid and his likes have been treated in Pakistani jails. They have fathered children, they have all the comforts, they can interact with their fellow leaders, terrorist leaders, and they can continue to foster the terrorist campaign against India. So we should have no illusions that this action will curtail and contain the lashkar e and we must be on the watch. The latest sentencing comes as Pakistan tries to avoid blacklisting by the Financial Action Task Force. Pakistan has been on the watchdog's grey list since 2018. The country has been trying to convince FATF to get off the grey list and Hafi Said has been its biggest trump card. India has repeatedly demanded that Saeed be handed over for trial for his suspected role in the Mumbai attack, but Islamabad has refused to do so. Banned by the UN Security Council after Mumbai terror attacks, Saeed faces 23 terror cases in Pakistan alone. Putting the cases and sentencing aside, which are clearly a show put on by Pakistan for global spectators, the treatment Hafiz Saeed has been getting is nothing short of a free man. Saeed has been seen in and out of the Lahore anti-terrorism court like a well-protected asset and in a cavalcade of sophisticated SUVs instead of a prison van. He has been seen roaming freely across the country while addressing incendiary speeches targeting India with impunity. This is the treatment of a global terrorist gets in Pakistan and that too in the public eye. One can only imagine the luxuries he enjoys under detention, which is official since 2019. As we all know, the Financial Action Task Force has raised some 27 or 28 strictures against Pakistan. It has completed, as per the task force, all of these except one. Now, the last one is actually the most important one. It calls for Pakistan to prosecute those terrorist leaders who have been sanctioned by the United Nations Security Council and other international bodies. And this is what is the most difficult step which Pakistan is facing. Because, as we know, it has been sponsoring and promoting these terrorist leaders as Hafiz Saeed, as well as Jaish e Mohammed chief, who are continue to have all the privileges and perks in that country. Not only Hafiz Saeed, his descendant, Tala Saeed too, is involved in terror-related activities. Tala Saeed serves as a lashkar e taiba second-in-command. He controls the finances of lashkar e taiba and had been actively involved in recruitment, funding, planning and execution of attacks in India and on Indian interests in Afghanistan. India recently has declared Tala Saeed a designated terrorist under the provisions of Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Though other countries are designating them as terrorists, Pakistan still remains a safe harbour for them. Islamabad should realize that simply banning terror groups is not enough. 
The terrorist infrastructure must be dismantled so that the society can be de-radicalized and Pakistan does not have to face embarrassing accusations at the global level.